Welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. So this is the day before Thanksgiving. I'm going to prep my turkey. I do not have a lot of people coming over. So I have a six pound turkey. This is a turkey breast. And that's what I'm going to make. Now, I made a video not that long ago for a three pound turkey breast. But I want a little more leftovers. So I'm getting the six pound. That's what I'm going to make for tomorrow. So I'm going to prep it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. And it's going to come out really easy in a crock pot. So let's do it. Okay, so right here I have my six pound turkey breast. It's pretty good size and it's just perfect for my small crowd. So with turkey, you have to pat it dry. Make sure it's completely dry because your seasonings, your butter, it will not stick if it's wet. So right away, I'm noticing that there's like this extra skin here. So I'm going to cut it. Okay, so now I'm going to make my compound butter with my herbs to season this up. And uh, then we'll put it on the bird. So to make my butter, your butter has to be soft. I seriously put this in for 15 seconds just to soften it up. And it almost melts. I have a very strong microwave. This is one sprig of thyme leaves. And the same with rosemary. I just got a little bit of fresh herbs, rosemary and thyme. I'm going to add that. Okay, so this right here, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and three teaspoons of salt. Okay, that's what I'm going to add here. Okay, now I'm going to mix all this together. Okay, so now I'm going to put this all over my turkey. Okay, so check this out. I'm moving that skin and getting it under the skin onto the meat. All this good flavor. So here's my bed of vegetables. I have onion. I got the biggest carrots I could find. And uh, here's some celery. So all that is also going to be a part of our side dish. I'm also going to make some green beans because I like green beans too. So I'm going to put my turkey breast on top. So honestly, that did not end up exactly how I had planned it. I was going to put everything on the bottom and my turkey on top of a bed of vegetables, but it didn't work out. I didn't have enough room, even though this is a very big crock pot. So I put my breast in first and then I lined everything on the side. Now my turkey breast is going to shrink when it cooks and all the juices are going to come out and so these are all going to be submerged in the juices. So now at this point I'm just going to cover it I'm and tomorrow morning I'm going to set this on the base part that turns on and it's probably going to take about I'm thinking five or six hours I'm going to check it at about four and I'll let you know. And uh, just to let you know, afterwards, I'm going to put it under the broiler. So it will be browned on top. Okay, it's Thanksgiving morning and my turkey is in the crock pot. So I'm going to check it in four hours, but it'll probably take a little longer than that. We'll see. I'll let you know. I cooked my turkey four hours. This is the bottom of my crock pot, and here's my turkey. I put it on a little tray. I have my broiler. It's getting nice and hot, and uh, we're going to put this in the broiler for a few minutes just so that it can brown up. Look at this. You can see it in the broiler. It's turning brown very quickly. No more than five minutes for me. All ovens will vary. This is interesting. Look at the bubbling. <laughs> so these are my turkey dripping. This is from my turkey breast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain them in a bowl. Okay, so everything that was in there was strained into a bowl. These are my drippings. Now we're going to make this into gravy. 
So for the sake of this video, I wanted to measure how much liquid I got out of my tricky breast. And it ends up being about two and a half cups. I don't have a big crowd coming. I think that's going to be enough. So let's thicken this up and make it into a real gravy. Now, if you wanted more, all you're going to do is add some chicken stock. Okay, some chicken broth, whatever you want. Okay, this is two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to let it melt. Now I'm adding two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm going to mix this together and it's going to form a roux, which is the beginnings of the thickener for your gravy. Now I'm going to add my drippings slowly and you keep mixing it and it forms a gravy because of the thickener. See that? Just keep mixing it and adding it slowly. So right here I have the vegetables that were cooking inside with the turkey. And right there I have a side dish. So check this out. My gravy is very tasty, first of all. And it's nice, but I want it just a little bit thicker. So this is two tablespoons of water mixed with one tablespoon of flour. Just a little extra, and now it's gonna thicken up to my desired consistency. Look at this. Now it's a nice, thick gravy. Very, very nice. And it has a really, really good flavor. So here's my turkey gravy. Okay, my friends, look at this. This is beautiful. It's slightly browned on top. Look at that. I left mine in the broiler for three minutes. Three minutes exactly. And that was perfect for me. I dressed it up with some parsley and pomegranate seeds. And this is a beautiful presentation. So this is a turkey breast, six pound turkey breast. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.